Hi everyone! Today we will talk about musical instruments that you rarely see in concert halls. Most likely, you've never even heard about some of them. What will you get by combining physics and music? Water and music, music from the air, and from a place where it was not supposed to be at all. Emerging back in 1920, the theremin was one of the first electronic musical instruments in the world. It was created by accident by a Russian expert in radio engineering, Lev Theremin, when he was faced with the non-musical task of measuring the dielectric constant of gases at various temperatures. The device turned out to be incredibly sensitive and reacted to the slightest changes in the position of the human hand, changing the frequency of sound. Initially, the inventor called the instrument etherphone, which means sound from the air, but soon it was renamed to theremin in honor of the creator. The sound is controlled as a result of the movement of the hands in the electromagnetic field of two metal antennas. The pitch changes when the thereminist moves his hand to the right antenna, and the left antenna is responsible for volume change. Now, let's listen. The next musical instrument is powered by a manual drive. The energy of mechanical motion supplied is distributed throughout the mechanism, causing 2,000 metal balls to move. They fall on the drum surface, touch the strings, collide with the tuning forks, and turn all these individual sounds into music. The movement of the balls can be controlled by a large number of levers, buttons, and mechanical switches, thus changing the melody. It took Martin Molin, a member of the Swedish band Wintergarden, four years to build this amazing instrument known as Marble Machine. This invention looks more like an ordinary fountain, but only until the fingers of a musician close one of the water holes. At that moment, the resulting hydraulic pressure generates a sound remotely resembling the timbre of pipe organ in the upper keys. By its principle of work, the hydraulophone is a pipe organ, only that it is not air, but water that forms sound in it. The author of this extremely impressive musical instrument is a Canadian computer scientist, Steve Mann. Here's an absolutely incredible computer orchestra. To build it, Polish programmer Pavel Zdrozniak used 64 drives, 8 hard drives, 2 scanners, and the famed Arduino controllers. The author called his creation Floppatron. He also explained that every electrical device can generate sound. One just needs to be able to control this sound. For example, the programmer controls the Floppatron using a program written in Python. The world around us is full of music, and we can produce sound even from six bananas. Here is the banana piano. Its technology is very simple. It is based on the same Arduino controllers. The board perceives a contact with the banana, which presses a key it already knows and generates a sound corresponding to the number of the bananas touched. Do not be surprised by the strange look of this musical object, because its ancestor was the African folk instrument kalimba, invented in Zimbabwe many years ago. Based on this instrument, the American company Array introduced a new invention, the Array Mubira, a cross between a harp and a piano. The classic version has five octaves and consists of 150 metal rods. Clamping down and smoothly releasing the curved rods, a musician achieves expressive and deep sounds. Next, we have the most recognizable, and at the same time, frightening sound from all the known horror movies, which gets our heart pumping. One of the most important elements, which added to the terrifying experience of horror films, was invented in the late 60s by American artist Richard Waters. The water phone. Water is poured inside a bowl, and then the musician bows the bronze tubes of different lengths placed on each side of the bowl, as the liquid flows from the long tubes to the shorter ones, thus creating an eerie and unearthly sound, which is also called water echo. Eight. This combination of strings, springs, and drums is called yebahar. 
Vibrations from the strings are transmitted through cylindrical springs to the frame with drums. With the help of membranes, these vibrations are converted into sound and come back to the springs. That's how, according to the instrument creator and musician, Gorkim Sen, he achieves the hypnotic surrounding sound that fascinates listeners. In addition, no electronic devices are used. Everything is natural. The hurdy-gurdy dates back to the 15th century when the instrument was so massive that it took two people to play it, a musician and his assistant who rotated the crank. Today the symbol of the Middle Ages looks somewhat different. One can easily hold it in the lap. On it are the keys, and just above the keys is a loose cover. If we look under it, we will see strings which are pressed by the buttons of the keys. The crank rotates the wheel, which acts as a bow. It presses against the strings, causing a characteristic sound. No wonder girls devote so much time to this part of the body. The better the shape, the better the sound. The drummer of the Spanish band Patax plays buttocks as drums. This music genre is now dubbed musical spanking. The laser harp, an electric musical instrument that consists of several light beams. A performer plucks the laser beams, or strings, just like the strings of an ordinary harp. When a musician covers rays with his or her palm, it flashes with a bright light. Special sensors located at the musician's feet register these flashes and transfer them to a software synthesizer, which produces the sound. Producer of great light shows, John Michael Jarre invented this amazing instrument and made it famous by playing it at his concerts. The earth harp consists of long strings stretched for several meters, by plucking of which, charming sounds can be heard. The creator of the earth harp, multi-instrumentalist William Close, simply wanted to turn the planet into a musical instrument. So he designed the world's first harp with 300-meter strings. They are attached to a wooden platform on one side and a mountain ridge in Santa Monica on the other. After the concerts at which William performed became very popular, several similar harps were installed in several U.S. cities. Strings are often stretched directly over the heads of listeners. There are only a few masters in the world who can play this instrument. The creation of the unique and very rare glass harmonica was preceded by playing on ordinary glasses. An improved instrument consisting of glass hemispheres strung on a rotating metal axis conquered Europe. The gentle and pleasant sound is generated by touching the wet edges of the cups. To keep them wet, the harmonica is partially submerged in a resonator box with diluted vinegar. And although it was long believed that its heavenly sounding strongly affects the mental state of people, it was admired by Mozart, Beethoven, Strauss, and other eminent composers. Musical Tesla Coil Although the instrument was originally patented as a device producing high-frequency voltage, some enthusiasts still found a way to play their favorite tunes by adding a board controller and MIDI device to the coil. The signal from the music device is fed to the amplifier, which then goes to the circuit that controls power on the transformer coils. The discharge strength varies depending on the power. The greater it is, the hotter the strike will be. Respectively, the air expands more in a place where the lightning strikes, causing a clanking sound. This unique instrument created by scientist Leland Sprinkle inside the Luray Caverns, which is known as lithophone, there was a legend that Leland noticed a good musical resonance in the cavern when his son accidentally hit his head on the low-hanging stalactite. Then he decided to create the great stalactite organ. It took him several years to alter the rocks to achieve the perfect sound. A hammer, which also acts as resonator, is attached to each stone. It is controlled by electricity from a conventional organ keyboard. The music produced by this instrument echoes across the entire cave area of 14 kilometers squared. The giant cave organ is the largest musical instrument in the world. The Guinness Book calls it the largest underground instrument of natural origin. Rubber hammers hit the stalactites of thousands of years ago, producing sounds that impress us today.